Hi there, I'm Phil Wallace. Recently, I had cause to be concerned about the security of my computer systems, so I went along to see an old friend of mine, Dave Holesic, the CEO of Secure Now. Dave, before we start, we are friends. We've known each other for a while, so I can assume you're not going to be trying to sell me a bill of goods here. All right, like everybody else, um, you know, I've got into Wi-Fi because it's it's easy and a cable and stuff, and it gives you a certain mobility with a lot of things. Um, but I've been reading a lot of stuff on the net that is making me concerned about my security because, unfortunately, I mean, despite the fact that when you buy a computer, it apparently comes with all the security stuff. Antivirus alone and firewalls doesn't just do the job, does it? I believe the internet will never be secure. Operating systems always update, security updates, virus scanners always update. Now, wireless security also needs to be updated regularly. Most people receive their ADSL router, which looks something similar. Like this, with a little antenna on it. Now, when you, when you subscribe with an internet provider, you just send you one of these, which is all pre-configured, you plug it into the phone line, you connect your laptop to it, you connect your Apple iPhone to it, your workstation to it. Uh, you can put a password onto it, which most people think, okay, that's now secure. However, now all the data is uh, transmitted through the air. We can pretty much grab it mm -hmm. with a simple device such as laptop. That easily stole. Pretty much. But surely you'd need to know hacking skills. Oh, or... Absolutely. I mean, the, there are things like encryption, uh, different types of encryption, like WEP, WPA, WPA2 now, but that is all out of date. Yeah, but that's, that's, I mean, you, you, you're now talking high tech here. I mean, surely there wouldn't be that many people looking for, what was that, WP2 stuff? I mean, how, how would you find out about that? Okay, these boxes come pre-configured from your internet provider. They're set up so you can plug it into your phone line and you can usually automatically pick up your laptop or your wireless phone if you like, your wireless PC. Now, there are different ways to secure them using encryption such as WPA, WPE, WPA2, but they, that may not be enough. Now, what we'll do later, if you've got the time, we'll go for a drive and we'll demonstrate how easily we can hack into any secured network using these encryptions which are now out of date and unfortunately people do not realise that. You're saying that they're, what, I could just go on the net and, and you know, type in WP, whatever the hell you're talking about, and I would be able to learn how to break into these things. Well, Phil, the uh, most scary part about this is any kid can do it. As long as you've got Google, the information is out there, free, available to anybody. Now, shall we have a look? Okay. General, if we put in, sorry, heck, Wi Fi, we've got uh, over four and a half million results, meaning these are links to pages discussing hacking uh, software, available hacking tools, etc. Okay, now this is, this is pretty broad, so if we narrow that down to say WPA, which is one of the encryption types. Let's say hack WPA. Okay. More information, YouTube videos that will show you how to do it, and even software. Wow. Available to general public. Okay, but I mean, 
I, I run a couple of systems at home for my own uh, purposes. And, you know, if I'm not using Wi-Fi, for example, and I'm running a secure network, my network surely should be secure. Well, Phil, most companies are still running on wide networks using Cat5 Blue Cable. Yep. Um, they believe they're secure. However, most employees have laptops they take home, they take back to work, plug into the network. Now these laptops, they've got wireless devices. These laptops are designed to connect to any access point available. Now what we can do is replicate a laptop to act as an access point, which the employee's laptop will then automatically connect to us. Not only do we get access to their laptop, but the whole corporation's network. So, in other words, any laptop connected, any unsecured laptop connected to my network, a secure network yeah. then is the weak link in the chain. Absolutely. And all of a sudden my entire network is at risk. That's absolutely correct. Well then, um, let's go for a drive. Let's do that. Right, what we're going to do is go for a drive, see what different securities and different networks we can pick up and how easy it is to actually hack into them. Now, every time you hear that noise, it means we've uh, driven past an access point. Okay, what we're doing here, we're using uh, free software available internet to any kids and basically what we've got here this is our MAC addresses, SSIDs, this is the channels, uh, the frequency of the channels and the signal strength obviously and we're driving around picking up what the networks uh, are around and just having a look at the different security they're uh, put in place. We've done about, uh, about 5-10 minutes we've been driving around just the back streets we picked out uh, close to 30, 30 networks now this is what frightens me there's over 12 networks here that have absolutely zero security. You can park into their house, plug into their network, download the data. Okay, what we might do is see if we can find a random network which is locked, secured. And we might park into the front of the house and see if we can get their permission to hack into the network in exchange of our services and lock the network up. Now, we're not picking up anything at the moment. Okay, there's one. If you could just pull over here, see if anybody's home. And uh, there's one here called, well this one's open, so we're not going to worry about that. But there's one here called Netgear, so what we might do.